And we're now, you know, 13 days away from the official start of the postseason, and there's plenty of scenarios that can play out, but I want to show you guys this full screen here. A reminder that five teams are going to get a bye in Vegas with Arizona opting out. So if Utah plays and wins their last four games, Monty, you kind of alluded to it, that they'll be 10-9, and nine. they could surpass Stanford. I'm not going to make you guys do the math, but as you look at the team sitting outside the top five right now, who's got the best shot to play their way into having a first round bye? And Coach, we'll start with you. Well, I, I, again, I'm going to say Utah simply, even though they've only got the six wins, because of the record, they, they play four games, and two of them are against Oregon State and Arizona State, two of the teams that they're battling with. And Tinkle, Coach Tinkle's done a great job with that Oregon State team, you know, with Thompson being the head guy in that organization. But uh, I think Utah has a real chance, you know. They get Yonten back, and Ryland Jones gets healthy. They've got four home games, and they're always well coached. So I kind of like them. I, I don't know that I see anybody passing Stanford. I've been a fan of Stanford all year long. They've, been, they've had health issues, but, boy, they've done a really good job. They defend. They play hard. They play well together. If, if that's who it's between, I think Stanford will hold on. Yeah, I'm, w I'm with you, Coach. I don't think anybody takes over those five spots. Maybe Utah, if ASU got really hot, but I see Stanford being that fourth or fifth team, and I think those teams are set.